Step 1. Download the Unreal Mod Unlock. Step 2. Steamless to remove the DRM. Step 3. Open Steamless and select the BTVR when shipping EXE located at Steam Step Library. Four, Steam Tabs. Common Blood Trail. EXE again. Five. Run the game through Steam Text without pop up saying some files are missing. Press OK. Launch again. And if it's, 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 it's place all the wrong folders in the content directory, Steam Library, Steam Apps, Common Step Blood four. Trail. BTVR. Run the Common. unpacked EMC. EXE that Steamless created and all mods will load perfectly. Step 8, have fun. Now is that so hard? <laughs> My name is TJ, and for the last couple days I've been showing you guys some new Blood Trail mods, and basically didn't really tell you how to install them, because it seemed pretty straightforward to me, but, you know, some people have issues with it. Some people can't read. <laughs> so I'm gonna do a quick little tutorial and go over how to install mods in Blood Trail. Let's get started. Alright, so first up, you're gonna go to the Discord. Electrovore Blood Trail official Discord. Scroll down, you'll see modding, and in the modding channel, there is a pinned comment that explains how to do everything. Apparently, this is not enough information, so I'm gonna show you. Step one and two are pretty easy. You download the mod unlocker, and you download Steamless. Open up Steamless, and select the BTVR Win Shipping EXE which is located at Steam Library, Steam Apps, Common, Blood Trail, BTVR, Binaries, Win64. So that's pretty easy. Go where it tells you to go and select the Win Shipping EXE. Step 4. Open Mod Unlocker and select the Win Shipping EXE again. Uh, I think this dude made a little mistake. It's supposed to be the folder and not the EXE. All right, so click that and then let it uh, <coughs> and then let the unlocker do its thing. Once that's done, run the game through Steam without a headset. If a little text thing will pop up that says that some files are missing, press OK, then launch it again. And if it says it's corrupted, that means it worked. So basically, we're using Steamless to play the game without Steam. As far as I know, this is allowed by the devs, since, I mean, it's the only way to do it. So go ahead and do that. And then number six, place all mode folders in the content directory. Um, you're gonna need some mods first. <laughs> Maybe this is confusing people, I'm not sure. So what I do is I go to Nexus mods, and in there you can find Blood Trail as well. There's a couple mods on there. Uh, just pick whatever you like, pick the blood mod. I'm gonna take the Glock 27. Arsenal is a beast with these mods. He's cranked out one gun mod a day so far, I think. I could be wrong. I love the guy though, great work. So download that. Now here is where a lot of people make a mistake. Once you download a mod, you open it up, and then you see a content folder, which looks a lot like another content folder, so it could be a little confusing. But you're not supposed to drag this over. No, no, no. You open this, and then there's multiple folders inside. These are the folders that you're gonna drag over to the BTVR content folder. So drag those over, and basically that's it. Number seven, Run the unpacked EXE that Steamless created and all mods will load perfectly. So basically what this means, you're not gonna launch the game through Steam anymore. Uh, the, the mods simply won't work that way. So you're gonna run the unpacked EXE that Steamless created. It's this one right here. Once you double click that, the game is gonna open and you can see if your mods are working or not. Like I said, I tried the G27 mod. I did not pick the one with the suppressed shots. Um, these mods are pretty modular, I guess you could say. I could go in the files and delete the suppressor, delete the sight. You could delete the, uh, the little laser or flashlight that's on there if you really want to. 
you can kind of scroll through the folders, see what's what, delete the stuff you don't like, and test if it works. Do remember that all the mods that you see on here are a work in progress. They could basically not work at any given time. As soon as the devs put a new update out, it's possible that none of these mods are still gonna work, so they might have to redo them or update them. So you're gonna have to wait on that. But yeah, apart from that, that's how the modding process works. I hope this helps you guys out a little bit. My name is TJ, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.